Yeah, I read also somewhere you you spoke about. I'm not sure uh, that now you will have the tour circuit, then you will have call chamber sort of reunion for temporary reunion. Well, reunion is uh, is a big a, word, maybe. It's a big word. Uh, sorry that for that, but seven uh, shows. Seven shows. <laughs> uh, and I also said after that, you said that maybe you want to take some kind of sabbatical to regroup this band, Devil Driver. No, no, not Devil. No, not regroup Devil Driver. Oh, regroup but me. I mean, I think you know. Mm -hmm. you, you have to understand. Like, we play more shows than any band on the planet per mm -hmm. year, and for 16 years, I've kept an extreme work ethic up. You know, so for myself, you know, I just see you know after July taking you know a little bit of time off. That doesn't mean we're not going to go do a week or two of shows here or there. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I see I see a few months off at least. And so. is this the first time that you had that that desire really to have that? maybe that open space that you will maybe, that is free of, of doing what you're doing? I mean, just to get it, you know, very personal, uh, which I don't mind doing. Now this tour has, has changed a lot of things for me, actually. I came on this tour and uh, uh, with uh, my stepfather having cancer and my best friend uh, having cancer passed away while I was on the tour. Oh. Uh, I missed my 10 year anniversary and my wife's birthday and Halloween. So. <laughs> That's uh, this quite is, a list. This is never going to happen to me again. I'm going to have to adjust what is personal and what is sacred to what is work and what is business. And since it's art, I juggle that in between as well. But I can be at home going in the studio. I can be at home making a record. I can be you know, at home uh, doing other arts as well. I paint and do a lot of other things. So you know, this is just. But was it so, I mean, the things you now speaking about are pretty intense things. Was it almost about to maybe that you ha had to pull the, not the definite switch, but maybe to pull off the tour or? Pull off the tour, no, this yeah, tour? Yeah, oh, hell no. The f no, that was not an issue. No, you, you, you mm. always finish what you start. I grew up like that. I grew up hard working. I watched my father do it. And I grew up finishing what you start. You know what I mean? The machine that has been so cool to take us out. We've played in front of more people per night than we would have ever played in the last 10 years. It's like, and, and Rob did that uh, out of the kindness of his heart. You know, I called him and he told me what slot was open, the slot before Bring Me the Horizon. I was like, great, let's do it. Doesn't matter where we are on the bill, I want to be on the bill with you. And he did it for Cold Chamber as well. He took Machine Head out with Cold Chamber. You know. The life you just described, maybe still working in the art and with the music, but then in more home surrounding. How long have you not been able to do that in a way? Maybe 16 years. Like 16 years. And dude, when I say go home, I mean like go home for three to four months. I don't mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that's what I mean. <laughs> I, don't mean I, also know. I don't mean I'm taking two uh -huh. years off or something ridiculous yeah. like this. I mean, I have another record to do with Devil Driver, definitely, uh, where our option is up right now with Roadrunner mm -hmm. and we're deciding what we're going to do there and they're deciding as well. And there's a whole lot of things to consider. And uh, I think my family and my children, you know, need a little bit of time for me. So they're going to get, you know, between December and and I, when I start the cold chamber stuff in February, two and a half months ho home, and then after that, um, you know, after July, after the festival season next year with Devil Driver, then there's you know some small stuff planned. But Devil, gonna, Devil Driver related or uh, all sorts of things related, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but definitely Devil Driver writing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we want to have a record out by the end of 2013. I mean, for sure, mid to mid 2013 before Halloween, without a doubt. And they're already writing, I'm already writing, so we've got plenty of stuff. Because you have a consistent pace when it comes to every two years releasing something. So this is something that, that really works well, that you found out that this is we're, the You know, I said it over and over, mm -hmm. but we were only together six months before we got our first record deal. So if you listen to all the records, everything is a different, it's us, you know it's us, but it's a whole different sound, every record. And uh, we're just starting to find that sound, mm -hmm. and I think it's gonna be really, really intriguing to me, for sure, what the next four or five records holds. Because I think it's going to get epic now. I think what we're going to do is take what we're doing and we're going to start stepping outside ourselves even more and, and really, you know, taking things to the limit art artistically. You know, I think that's important to grow. I never want to make the same record twice. Mm -hmm. And I know our fans don't want us to either.